Hey guys, I'm Chris James, and this is Strange But True News, here to bring you real stories that are real weird. Researchers studying the ecology of Lake Tahoe in California stumbled upon something very, very, and I mean very big. You just see this bright golden orange thing starting to float up, and you're like, what is that? Oh my gosh, what is that? It's a goldfish. It's a goldfish? Something's fishy. Goldfish are tiny. They fit in little plastic bags. They have plenty of room to stretch out in every teeny fishbowl. And they taste really good. But the researchers told KCRA that the hefty gilled animals they caught are the same species as the one we keep as pets. Just supersized. Giant goldfish are not native to lakes and streams, but ones just like them have been found all over in Arizona, Michigan, Arkansas, the UK, and France. Mom, dear. So how did the goldfish get into the lake? And how the heck did they get so big? Experts think that people are dumping out their aquariums at the shore. The fish grow extra large when they have access to high protein diet with more food more often. So the lake provides those ideal conditions. The idea that goldfish grow as big as their tank is just one big fish tail. So add that to the growing list of things that mother nature does better than us. Think those gargantuan goldfish in lakes are weird? You won't believe what's at the bottom of the ocean. A snorkeler found an 18 foot long sea serpent looking creature and pulled it to the shores of Catalina Island in the Pacific Ocean. It turned out to be an oarfish. And what's even crazier is that they usually swim in the ocean and can grow up to 55 feet long. Well, it's time to cut bait on this episode of Strange But True News. We'll see you back here real soon. Make sure you subscribe to DreamWorks TV and click here to watch more Strange But True News. What's up guys, we are going to do another magic trick, and for this one, we're going to be using just two ordinary objects. We have two rubber bands from Staples. If you put one band behind the other, you can see how they become stuck. They can't go through my fingers, and I can't pull it straight through the center. But if I find the soft spot, the bands can actually go through each other. I know that's really weird, but we're gonna try it a step further. Take a look. One. And this way the bands actually become linked. And the only way to get them out 